I totally wasn't power leveling off screen and then accidentally strayed too close to where we had to go. <laughs> Greetings to you all, my name is Andy and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360. I was just wandering around the Hypionia continent when all of a sudden Heracles, the giant, the giant tank-like entity that was previously seen at Dongrest attacking Pharaoh, has shown up here at the Forgotten Shrine of Bactium. Okay, good, I got the name right. <laughs> Alexei! Jaeger, that useless worm. Can't he even swat a few pesky flies? Give Estelle back! Estelle, come on, wake up! Estelle! No matter. See, the princess's life will fade each time she uses her power. If you care for her, then do not interfere further. <laughs> you bastard. when he became aware of Heracles' movements. You should show some gratitude for the captain's foresight. I swear, that guy. You tell Flynn we don't need him sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Our captain hasn't wavered an instant in carrying out his duties since speaking with you. But just look at you. After all the boasting you did. Pitiful. Sorry, but unlike your precious captain, we aren't perfect. Hey, you guys all right? Oh, uh, huh? What are they? Apparently, we had some help. Flynn sent them here. How can someone like you? How can the captain possibly consider someone like you his friend? Our captain is the ideal to which we all aspire. He's the epitome of an imperial knight. And yet, for some reason, when he's with you, he is not himself. Just like this last time. Whatever. If you're looking for someone to have a heart-to-heart -heart with, go bug Applehead over here. We don't have time to sit around and play guidance counselor for you. A applehead That's it! Sodia! No, don't! Sodia! Listen well, Yuri Lowell. Your very existence is hurting our captain. Stay away from him! She's pretty intense. Um, Flynn also wanted me to give you this message. Take care. Uh, all right. Now we've done everything we came here to do. You're on your own after this. Platoon, fall out! We must hurry to rejoin the brigade! Yuri! All right, let's get after Alexei. We've got to move quickly. Right. If she's forced to use her power, then it'll be too late to save her or fix the air. But... Bastard! Using her like some kind of tool! He's gonna pay! Come on! We will, but just in a moment. Something I should have done a good while ago. I am saving. <laughs> Something I completely forgot is that when you get near the shrine, you can see where I am here on Hypionia. Then it automatically brings you into the cutscene where we see the Heracles chasing an Entelechia into that hole in the mountain there, right beside the compass. Another Entelechia called Astal. If we don't go after Alexei, that Antilochia we saw is going to wind up in Apatheia. 
Even from this far away, Astal's wounds look terrible. He might not hold out much longer. I guess not even the Antelikea are a match for Heracles. Maybe that was Alexei's reason for building it in the first place. Naturally. There's no way he'd need something that powerful just to take care of the guilds. Whatever the case, we have to catch Alexei and stop him before it's too late for a stall. I don't know, it seems like a bit of a design flaw that it can't turn around that fast. Oh well. What have we got here? Pineapple gel, I'll take it. Uh, any other hidden goodies? Oh. A life bottle. I'll put it back. In every video game like this, there's always the occasional dungeon, which is a bit of a painful labyrinth. <laughs> this is this game's. Flint sent his knights to help us. That idiot. Sending the better part of his subordinates over here. He should be worried about his own butt. They did save us, though. He must be really worried. About us, or about Estelle? Both, I'd hope. Woof. I swear, it's not like he has time to be worrying about other people. So Flynn hasn't completely hardened to others, either. Alright, there are some guys here we can take out. Wait, your Come on. <laughs> They're wide open. Let's take care. Looks like we've got a couple here that we've not seen. Quick. I'd better go back and get some magic lenses. <laughs> Night Warrior. Night Fencer S. A Night Warrior. Okay, it's not a magic lens. <laughs> okay guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pick up some magic lenses. Okay, we're temporarily back in Zafias because there's a few things that we can get through synthesis that we really should have gotten before tackling that dungeon. Okay, first two key items. Uh, first, I'm going to get a giant scroll for Rita. <laughs> a scroll full of ninjutsu skills. There we go. Next thing we're going to look at, back in key items, this, the Limit Quartet. Look into the orb to gain courage, enhances overlimits. This allows us to access overlimit 4, the best kind of overlimits. <laughs> at least in the Xbox 360 version. Anyway, with four different types of, we can use all four overlimits at once to gain total invincibility during our overlimits. Or we can stack up four and use them individually. So we're going to get that. The kitchen knife. Supposedly this increases your kitchen skills. Let me try that again. <laughs> this increases your cooking skills. Apparently. Could get a white hat for Yuri. Ow! No, let's not. Anyway. I think at best I don't waste any more money on useless things. Rita swaps her adventures canteen for a scroll. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna head back to Bactium. Wait up for us, Estelle! Off screen I was doing a lot of power leveling, and I managed to acquire a few more altered arts. I've successfully changed Rita's burst art into its fire attribute equivalent. Which is actually pretty handy. 
Yuri has complete access to Azure Blast now, which is the Crucible and Athenor version of Azure Edge. There it is. Unleash an explosive shockwave that will knock down an enemy. Azure Blast is really slow, but yeah, it's good for knocking down enemies. Shining Fang, with the Athenor skill, becomes Shining Fang Drop, which is a slightly less consumptive art, interestingly. And right now, we got this from Yorzo. This is the Shadow Fang. It's a dark attribute weapon, but look at that skill. Super Chain 5. Able to link altered and arcane arts. This makes it amazing. Siri's so all about combos, and altered arts, well good, can stop a combo dead. I'll take him out! Our strategy will. Ooh, lemon gel. You know what, I'll put it back. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances with this dungeon. Score. <laughs> this will make good practice. Don't let him trip you. If I scan the knight bishops, I have. Reed, I got eruption! Yes! <laughs> Off-screen, I went back and synthesized Grim Guardian plus one alpha for Rita. This gave her access to the Crucible skill. When you have both Crucible and... what else do we need? Just Crucible? Okay. <laughs> I thought you needed one of the... one of the... one of Chain of Hellfire to get it as well. Okay, so with the Crucible skill, Rita gets a better version of Fireball called Eruption. If you've been fighting some of the druids and mages and basically the enemy magicians that you see out in the overworld, a lot of them will use Eruption instead of Fireball. Eruption's good because, unlike Fireball, which takes time to fly towards the enemy, Eruption, as you can see over there in the corner, <laughs> just appears right away. Let's try this again, huh? Okay, since in my power leveling I didn't have the time to... I didn't have the time to have Rita learn both Chain and Hellfire, so... I don't have access to the Fire Attribute version of her burst art for now. Anyway, let's keep moving. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wow. We got a head start! Let's take care of him quick! What have we got here? This is a new enemy. Repeat. Scanning time. It's a... Uh, Rabio. Okay. All Rabios. I'm just getting started. How's Carol doing with that skill? Off screen, I was going to give him both speed charge and safety, but uh, I think it's time we put him back on something better. Deadly horn, you can go with that. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. <laughs> These guys are eager. Damn. Yeah, Oh man, that guy held out till the last second. Have we scanned that guy before? Knight Lancer S. 
Okay, the S means Tron, because you can see that he's wearing the same, the same, <laughs> the same uniform as LeBlanc, which means he's part of Schwann Brigade. And those guys are just standard knights that don't belong to any particular brigade. Boy, they lasted long, didn't they? Man, this place is a labyrinth. You're really gonna have to watch your TP usage in this place because it will run out fast. Especially if you're like me. Taking you down. Gotta prioritize the bishops. Because they can heal. Repeat, don't hold back, use the damn item. to make good use of our cooking as well. Anyway. Yeah, I completely bombed that one, because here I ran out of TP, I, can, I wasn't using my arcane arts. Anyway, you'll have to forgive me in advance, because I remember very little about this dungeon. <laughs> I really do. All these rooms look the same. I wonder if they're all like this. I'm gonna check out what's ahead. Repeat. We don't really have time to be dawdling. It's okay, relax. <laughs> I bet Judah's smirking underneath that helmet. As we thought, the rooms here all look the same from here on out. Repeat's sense of smell doesn't seem to be working too well here either. I see, we can't afford to get lost in here. Here, use these. Let's make a map as we go. You're always so well prepared. Carol, can you do this? Yeah, I'm good with maps. Leave it to me. We'd be in a lot of trouble if you mess up, you know. Don't say that. Come on, everything will be fine. Probably. Alright, we've got a map. For once. Anyway. Believe it or not... <laughs> It's easy to forget where you've come from, so yeah, I'm backtracking. So can we just go all out? Oh, flippin' egg! My god, what happened there? <laughs> we lost so much health across the board. Oh dear.
Alright, repeat. You don't have the best of defenses, so I'm gonna have to swap you out for Carol. Especially when we're going up against that giant thing. Whoa! <laughs> These things. Let's eliminate them! Yenoceros, resistant to light, weak to dark. Aha, my blade is perfect for you! Hua! Yes! Scrub, did you? We got a hoof, rabbit ear, rabbit fur, sharp blade. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> that's good corpse salvage. You know, by the time this video airs, Pokemon X and Y will have been released, and I'll be <laughs> I'll be playing through it. Oh, how I do wish there was a way that I could hook up my 3DS to to do a playthrough of that. Even if it's blind, even if it goes against what I set out to do with my YouTube channel. It's something I'd want to do. <laughs> Maybe it'll happen. Someday. We'll destroy them in no, no time. time. Right here we've got a drill beak. Level 39. These things don't seem so bad. Whoa, they actually no drill pick! Treasure chests. What have we got? Twinkle Star! Don't let the name put you off. This is a very potent. Don't let the name put you off, I said. This is an extremely potent Rita weapon. Where is it? Twinkle Star. Heavy magic and item pro. Two very good arts for Rita. Increases the power of a spell, but also increases TP consumption and casting. This isn't too bad if you're playing as Rita, because if you're using over limits, then casting time is pretty much irrelevant. Plus, having the strange mark sort of cancels out the time. Item Pro is always welcome, so... Again, because we're in a bit of the... <laughs> we're in the thick of it here, so I'm gonna keep Rita with the Grim Guardian for the time being. When we're getting closer to the end, I'll switch her out for something else. Anyway, a cracked wall! If you've played any video game before, you'll know that that means something <laughs> is behind there. But we can't get to it just yet. Now, as you've seen in some of my other videos, the enemies on the overworld, they do respawn after a while. So, it's good practice just to keep moving. <laughs> it seems like a daft thing to say, but you'll find yourself turning a lot of corners in this one. Besides, these big Unicerosis here are good experience. Come on! Especially since I've got an attribute advantage against them. Of course, don't let them attack in groups. <laughs> don't all go for the same one, guys! Oh, we got a holy horn. That's pretty good for synthesis. Panacea bottle? I'll take that. You! Whoa! You have been chosen as, uh, as my next victim. I won't lose. Okay, no bishops. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, walk into the volcano, guys. Small guild now. But we'll make it 
big. We are brave Vesperia. You're killing me. Oh, shut up, Rita. Join the party. Join the guild. Join the fun. Oh, she's pretty much a member. I don't know. Does she still want to just use the excuse that she's one? That she's going around with us just for shits and giggles? Still, we got to hear Rita say, you bastard. <laughs> ow, ow. Whoa, he just slid across the ground. That's over. I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. All right, this group's pretty big. Ow! 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 Stay strong, Carol! Maybe. That's the logical outcome. It's good practice in this area to check the walls. Like even though it seems like a daft thing to say, but even the walls that you can't see, it's good practice to check them. Because this area is strewn with treasure chests. Oh hey, right. see what I mean? <laughs> Whoa. I feel like an easy win. Well, Rita took that thing out. Done. Unfortunately, when it comes to the altered arts, especially the burst arts, when it comes to lists of skills, <laughs> the ones at the top take precedence. So even if I was to select Alembic and Gale for the skills, then Yuri would still <laughs> use Divine Wolf Gr Crush. Well, actually, for Shining Fang Drop, which ones do I actually need? Just Athenor. Okay. So, Disable Crucible. Then I'll stick back on Alembic and Gale. Status cards based on the weapon, so I'll take that off. Darn it. <laughs> I really should find a way to put Chain Link 4 on there. Well, for a slight increase in skills, I can do better links. Um, I'll take that gamble. Haha! <laughs> we got a head start. All right, let's go. We 
We show no mercy to enemies. We just rip them apart. All right, what have we got in here? A holy bottle. Oh well, we can't pick up any more of those. Piece of cake! Don't let him trip. Yeah. Before you use your arts. Guess I overdid it. Killing win. That's over. Stronger and stronger. Okay, maybe Ghost Wolf isn't the best art to have just on my A button. Hell, even Tiger Blade would be good. There we go. Okay, what's in here? A lemon gel! Now, do you know what we're gonna do for that? <laughs> we're gonna use a lemon gel. <laughs> all my guys are pretty well healed up. Damn it. We went all this way for two chests that we can't even open. Well, we can use, but. Ugh. Right, well, at least we got some experience out of it. Let's head through here. What have we got? A save point already? Something's not right here. I mean, the blue save point, I'll take it, but... This area is much bigger than... Let's continue on. Ooh. Let there be lights! Let there be lights! Hmm. I don't think we should go here. Not yet, anyway. Let's try down here. Is this from a dead end? Oh wow, it actually is! <laughs> okay, maybe we are meant to go down there. We should really enjoy these little times to get together. Let's go. I just keep getting stronger. Boy, these poor guys get flattened after a while. Flattened. What's in here? A limit bottle! Yes! Okay, down we go. Uh, basement floor 2. This is the one I remember as being the huge floor. Gotta admit, the lighting effects are not too bad in this bit. Woohoo! What's with the two lights? Oh, who cares? 8,000 gold. Nice view. <laughs> Hold still. I'll make this quick. So is that okay? Finish that one! 
Okay, I really should stop trolling the enemies. The next challenge will be if I can keep a mental note of what areas of this dungeon have the stairs. Wind cake. Okay, for a slight decrease in agility, we get extra defenses. Yep, Yuri, you're getting that. Whoa. Ah, oh, what's this? Stop running on the spot for a second, I need to have a look at this. What is this a statue of? This is a temple, after all. This is probably a statue of whatever deity this temple was dedicated to. You know, it might just be a statue of the Antilochia we just saw outside. Huh? It couldn't be. I mean, a monster. That is, it's a... Uh... But they don't even look alike. No, I think it's possible. The Antilochia have powers beyond those of humans, and can speak in our language. It's not strange to think that humans would have worshipped them in ancient times. The relationship between the Antilochia and the humans might be closer than we thought. Maybe they drifted apart during the long, long passage of time, eventually leading to the situation we find ourselves in now. I... I think I prefer the distance we have now to the cozy relationship we had back then. <laughs> Is it really a stretch of the imagination to think that an Antilochia could turn into a human? May as well. Oh, five of them! Oh. Guess I went all the way back to Zaphius for nothing. Okay, another blue save point. <laughs> How bad is my memory of this dungeon? Whoa, never <laughs> run into that guy. I feel like an easy win. Secret of your strength. I don't know. Maybe I just have fun fighting. Cool. I'll do that too. It's good to have fun doing what you do for a living. Oh wow! Stunned it. <laughs> Watch my back. Damn, that was fast. Nothing in this room. Whoa! <laughs> Not here for a fight, guys. I'm just here to salvage. We've got a killing and a lottery gel. Okay. Keelan is a repeat weapon. I remember seeing this on the synthesis list back in Miorzo, but I didn't have the stuff for it. Keelan. Dagger made in the image of a mythical creature. You say that a Keelan horn is embedded in the grip. Okay, it doesn't have a great skill attached to it, but it gives repeat a tremendous boost in agility and physical attack, so... He's got that. Actually, Judith, you sit out for a bit. Repeat, you're in.
It's the Royal Guard. Oh, we're here. That has to mean we're on the right track. Good call, Carol. Estelle's got to be back there somewhere. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Hoo ah! Ow, ow. Get out of my way, guys. Come on. To you too. I feel this power inside me. Oh, that thing looks menacing, doesn't it? A barrier that's been locked up somehow with an encrypted formula. Can you open it? It uses an ancient technology that's barely been studied at all. Even I've only seen something like this in books. I couldn't even guess how long a thorough analysis might take. I'm guessing we can't just force our way through. Locks usually aren't placed on anything that's easily broken into. Yeah, you're right. Wait, how do you think Alexei got through here? He probably forced the lock using Estelle's... the power of the child of the full moon. Which means he made her use her power again. <sighs> Someone's here. Duke, why are you here? You, how is the young lady, the child of the full moon? Alexei's got her somewhere up ahead. I see. So he has made his move. Are you here because of him too? The air cranny in this region has become severely imbalanced. I have come to restrain it. By restrain, you mean you actually have a way to do that? To quiet the air cranny, the cause of the imbalance must be removed. Just come out and say it. You mean kill Estelle. That's enough. What is it with blaming all the world's problems on a single girl? An unstable child of the full moon cannot be ignored. You're as hard-headed as Pharaoh. I thought as a human you'd see things differently. Our common bond as humans is nothing. A single life cannot be privileged over the fate of the world. Yeah, never mind that without a bunch of those single lives, there'd be no world. Listen. She may be a bumbling, sheltered excuse for a princess, but she's one of ours. She's none of your concern, so back off! Do you say that knowing just how great a threat her existence poses? What we know has got nothing to do with it. Our motto is always do what's right. And if that means having to get up close and personal with you, then so be it. The time has come to show me the resolve that so impressed Pharaoh. This is De Nomos. It is the only manner in which the air may be quieted. Raise it and calm your mind. The sword will take care of the rest. De Nomos. Duke, wait! De Nomos. That's the name of the sword of the Imperial line that's been missing all this time. What are you doing with it? Why does something like that have the power to control the air? Who are you? The answers to those questions are not what you should be seeking now. Go, before you are too late. Soon, you will learn for yourselves the true weight of the burden borne by the Entelechea. Dane Nomos, the child of the full moon, the resolve that impressed Pharaoh? 
Just who the hell is this Duke guy? Well, judging from what he says, it seems he's in contact with Pharaoh. And he has the sword Prince Yoder's been looking for. I don't like this. Yeah, but why would he just lend us something as important as Deinomos? I thought he was stubborn, but maybe he's actually willing to listen to reason. I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. Don't we have more pressing concerns to worry about? Yeah, let's hurry. Okay, as much as we should keep the Shadow Fang until we've learned Super Chain 5, I propose we switch over to Deinomos. <laughs> Stat boosts across the board. It's got three very, very potent skills attached to it. The first is special. This allows us to trigger Mystic Arts with an over limit of level 3 or above. You guys are going to like this. Super Chain, able to link Arcane and Base Arts. That's also very welcome. And Bastion. Bastion changes gr Crushing Eagle into Guardian Fields. You can bet we're going to want to use that Bastion skill. <laughs> Guardian Field is the only means that Yuri has of healing himself. So, Destruction Field, you're out, and Shy Crushing Eagle, <laughs> you're back in. A simple tent that we can't even use when we're 50 feet underground. Something else to note about Deinomos look at its attack attributes fire, earth, wind, and water. It's got everything. Also, it's quite interesting. It, what does it say about it? Yeah, a sword borrows from Duke. It changes colour according to its owner. It's The way it cuts may change as well. That's quite odd. But notice how when Duke was holding it, it had a kind of purple glow to it, but now it, Sorry, red. <laughs> and now it's purple. Anyway, let's continue on. I've got a cool new sword, and I've decided I will test it on you. Piece of cake! Don't let him rip you up. It heals me, and it damages them! Ow! This? No, this isn't scary! Your legs are shaking. Since Guardian Field has the power to heal, if you're not playing as Yuri, you can set it so that he can... Well... <laughs> He can now concentrate on defending people. That was an extremely painful way for that guy to die. My god, that sounded morbid. <laughs> Whoa! I feel like an easy win. Let me out. You didn't think I was that strong, did you? So if Duke's only letting us borrow Deinomos, you can bet I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna make sure we learn how to use Guardian Field before we leave. Anyway. Let's keep going. I can't believe this is Deinomos, the proof of Imperial Succession. Yuri, can you become- you can become Emperor! This is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the Emperor even if I could. Duke went around using that sword to control Air Krennic. 
Oh, so Duke's doing the same thing as the Antilochia? Maybe so. That sword. It produced the same phenomenon as Estelle did. Maybe the Rosomato formula was already worked out once before. But then, why was that information lost? Maybe it's related to the Cataclysm, like the way that the Blastia was lost. Why did that become an Imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword, but let's wait to figure them out until we've settled things here. Right now, rescuing Estelle is our top priority. Right, let's hurry. Well, we've got a hole in the wall, but nothing else. Let's keep going. Mermaid cloak. A Judas weapon? Weapon? Item. Doi. Wait, no, it's a Rita. It's it's a Rita accessory. Mermaid cloak. A cloak is beautiful as a make-believe creature. Not only does it look nice, it adds to one's defense as well. And it makes us resistant to water. That'll be good when we're in a dry temple. I'm probably going to regret saying that soon. <laughs> uh... Let's head through here. Mithril plate and hua! <laughs> All right, mithril plate is an armor for Yuri. You can buy mithril items up in Miorzo, but. Yeah, it's only a slight stat increase for them, but hey, I'll give them it. Carol's got a gothic... Oh no, I can give Carol the gothic plate. Man, I just want to get out of here already. <laughs> My long jail, I'll take it. Ah, stairs. Just what I was looking for. <laughs> a Masakari Cleaver? That is a Carol weapon, if I remember correctly. Okay, the only stat boost it gives for Carol is his physical attack. It's a, actually not a bad stat boost. <laughs> And he gives him Super Chain 5. Carol's not much in the way of combos, but I'll give it to him once he's finished learning the stats of stats. Skills off Deadly Horde. From behind? Oh man. Cowards! I'll blow you away! That's over. Finish that one. Rita learned Crucible at long last. Actually, yeah, <laughs> we've been doing a fair amount of fighting. I can believe that now. Okay. I'm starting to vaguely remember my. <laughs> that thing was relentless. Oh, I suppose I should indulge it. I'll take him out. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Stop.
starting to run out of my cooking stuff too. Okay. What you're supposed to do in these rooms is, if you can only just see the floor, you're supposed to shoot the lights. Ta-da! And you can see the areas around you. However, make sure you don't fall off. Ow! Ah, we fell! Damn it. They can make these paths a little bit wider. Probably a precaution to keep our trespassers. I see. No wonder it's so dark in here. Let's stay on our toes so we don't run into another of these. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's this way. Now, I have mentioned a, a couple of times in this playthrough that there are some items that are incredibly easy to miss. Some of them are very situational as well. Like one crucial key cutscene missed, and you missed the item too. Well, I was so close to 100% when I discovered another item. <laughs> and it's one that, believe it or not, just really took us by surprise. As I, mentioned before, as I mentioned, you're supposed to shoot the lights so that you can better see the paths around you. And in doing that, you safely navigate this room. However... Let's say we fall down a couple more times. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll explain what's... Oh. <laughs> I'll just explain what's going on in general, really. <laughs> uh, myself and Dom have been working on our Master Quest playthrough. We're currently at Dodongo's Cavern. It'll be a good while yet before Tales of Vesperia is finished. In fact, I estimate it will probably take an entire year to finish it. I started properly working on my YouTube channel about six months ago, as of the time this recording goes through. And... I am hoping I'll finish Vesperia within the year, but <laughs> it's unlikely. And by within a year, I mean 52 weeks. Ah, I'm sick of these stupid traps. How many times do we have to fall into these before you're happy? It's the fault of these stupid paths for being so narrow. I can't take it anymore. Just a second. What are you doing? This wouldn't be happening to us if we could see properly, so I'm going to give us some light. Huh? Alright, there we go. Wow, that fast? How do you even manage to whip up something like that? The word impossible isn't in my dictionary. I ripped that page out. Let's go. Ooh, it's so bright. We should be just fine now. Alright, let's go. And we got a magic lantern! <laughs> Let's have a look at that in key items. A lamp made out of scrap metal, handy in lighting the dark rooms of Bactium. Yes, that's a key item. It's required for 100% completion. If you miss it, you miss it. <laughs> if you're the old... Believe it or not, I'm surprisingly cautious with most games. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say cautious, but, you know, I try not to make stupid mistakes. Again, that <laughs> probably doesn't show through too well. Anyway, now that we have this magic lantern, if we wander into the dark room... Ta-da! The lantern doesn't so much create its own light as it does light up everything else in here. Which isn't too bad, actually. Of course, just take your time anyway. Make Yuri do his kind of thing on the spot there. <laughs> There we go. I think there are only actually a couple of rooms in the whole shrine like this. But hey, we've got it. We've got the item. Okay, down here, what have we got? What are those stupid little star things? I could have sworn that we were supposed to have seen them by now. Oh, 
Okay. I'm having deja vu here. <laughs> okay, all things considered, I'm gonna take a break here, and I will continue with this dungeon very, very soon. Promise. My name is Andy, and thanks for watching my playthrough of Tales of Vesperia. In our next episode, we're gonna be finishing this dungeon, so... Until then.